Hello everybody, and welcome back to Vintage Story. In this episode, we need to figure out food. Again, I got distracted and let everything get a little bit un out of control. So, let's try to get everything back in control a little bit. Right, I have that extra maple door, I forgot. I think one thing we need to get in control is the storage. But the water is... not the water, the food is arguably more important. Let's take a look at how much food we're actually working with here. Let's see. I have two portions. And we're going to need uh, some more crocs as well. Um, I'd like to get all these shelves, so that's 4, 8, 12, 16, well actually 1, 2, 6, 12. So we need 12 kilns worth of crocs uh, to fill this all up. That's what I'd like to get. and. In order to do that, we're going to need somewhere to actually fire all those things. But we also are going to need somewhere where we can store all of our things. So, I want to accomplish both of those things by outlining a pit kiln area, as well as a storage area. And I'm thinking maybe we can set that up over here a little ways. But, before we do any of those fun things, we're going to need to go hunting. And I don't want to go hunting near us, because... Uh, I want to make sure that we are saving some of the local wildlife uh, for our own purposes later down the line. Where it is calm activity though, I'm thinking that maybe we make our way towards our old home because there's quite a few sheep out that way that told me they wouldn't mind lending us a bit of a hand. So without further ado, I'm going to make my way this way and I will see you all when we found some sheep to interact with. All right, so I was about to say, as we make our way over here, uh, Across this ridge there are sheep and I know that for a fact but I may have just found one anyways so let's dig up a little pillar here three high should do it and let's get to throwing oh low on health and one more or not there we go and you can see we ourselves are hungry, so that takes us from three total portions remaining down to two total portions remaining. And let's see what we get. We used up a couple pieces of fat yesterday, so I'm hoping we get our hands on some today. There we go. And that is two, one or one and a half crocs worth of meat, um, because I need six meat, or I need 12 meat, for six portions. So that's good. Now I gotta keep in mind I only have four crocs um, and we're gonna be combining it with either turnip or onion, probably turnip, uh, just to keep everything consistent. Okay, I'll go do the same right here. And oh, that one hit. That was definitely just a uh, hitbox did not register, but it looked like it was dead on. Alright. Now it's in the trees. Come on, you can get down from there. And... We hit the trees. There we go. I think it's funny that we hit the leaves there. And I believe this one should give us all the food that we're realistically looking for. Let's hope this fox doesn't come after us. I've, I haven't been hit by a fox, but I've heard they do some terrific damage. Okay, yep. And that gives us another one and a half crocs, uh, which we'll be able to get maybe ooh, one more portion onto that. So that should put us at uh, three and three quarters worth of crocs worth of food which is plenty for us. 
So we don't need a ton of sheep to get a ton of food, which is why I think getting our own sheep and breeding them will be really important. The sooner we can get that going, the better. Um, because it takes multiple generations before they're truly domesticated. Um, and we want to get into cheese making and dairy. You can see dairy is the only, well, grain right now, but dairy is the only category we have nothing that we can do anything with until we get this uh, animal domestication going. And I'm thinking that uh, wolf scared me. I'm thinking what we can do is we can take a look at building this storage building and maybe long term converting it into a bit of a barn uh, because the cozy cottage is going to turn into long term a cozy manor. Um, I have some ideas for how I'd like to go about upgrading it. And as we go and do that, we're going to move our storage into the home just so it's much easier to access. We'll be able to expand upon that in the basement and in the attic and in other areas. Man, we really should take care of that. I'm going to save it for another day, though. So we're 100 episodes in, and we see that, and we're like, hmm, maybe we should see that. That'd be a funny, like, 100 episode special, wouldn't it? Okay, we're going to take care of this one eyesore that we said we would take care of a long time ago. All right. So I'm going to make our way back to the house, uh, put our spears away, get this cooking going, and then we're going to work on another project. I think what we're going to do is we're going to work on uh, probably our roof. And, well, actually, we're not going to have enough uh, to work on the roof. Um, but we can strip these logs. And I know it's calm rift activity, but I am just going to shut the gates. I feel like it's going to be good to get into that habit. Alright, so I'm going to put these spears away and get the food going, and I'll see you on the tail end of that. Okay, so we do have our fire going, and we are working on making this. Let's get our crocs placed down here. And definitely one of the things I'd like to note here inappropriately placed. Uh, I would like to look at having a more dedicated kitchen area. I'd like to look at maybe getting this uh, floor uh, a bit nicer. Uh, but if I make the floor nicer, I am going to jut into the roof of the basement here, which means at some point this whole basement is going to have to go down another level. And that is a heck of a project that we're not going to take on right now. Something I would like to see us take on is I need to get a fire pit here, and I'd like a dedicated block to put this lamp on. And I'm thinking that... Um, I can put a dark mud brick here and a dark mud brick here. I believe we have extra dark mud bricks, and I can get a fire pit here, and I can put this lamp here. I'm thinking that would be a good use of our time. So why don't we go and do that, and then let's go look at how we strip these logs. Where did I place my dark mud brick is the real question. I have a single dark mud brick, and we'll grab some more. And not enough clay. There's enough clay. And pack dirt won't cut it, so we'll need some regular dirt. Alright, and you go here, and I knew I still had you on me. Perfect. So that should be... You're no longer burning. I'll let this sit for a little while. I may not need to put another... I gave it four, which is probably a little wasteful of me, but... And I'll do that there, and I probably don't need this rack here at all with the tools. I can probably just use the other singular rack over here. This hammer with next to no durability. Where I could probably use another tool rack is over here. Um, I really don't want to have an odd number of things. I want to maintain symmetry, so I think I will do that. I'm just going to pick this lamp up and move it. Oh, it can't because of the tool rack. Well, in that case, ooh, that's dark. Let me break this tool rack. And place the oil lamp. There we go. Place you here. And now I can use this rack. And you can go over here. Okay, so that takes care of all the tools I dropped. Our food is still chugging along. Let's make sure it's still 
appropriate temperature wise it is dropping okay let's give you another couple pieces of wood uh, probably just the one actually perfect and i think we have some extra fences we can upgrade that fence as well if i knew where i put them as you can see we uh really really need to create that storage building let's go look for our fences down here so that's probably where we put them yep and our food is done as well so let's grab our food and get you placed in these crocs come on and we'll get this cooking I'll give it three pieces of wood to start. Should be plenty. And now I'm gonna replace these fences. Perfect, so I think that's looking a little better. And let's take a look at how we strip a log. Log debarked log. So I need a hammer and an axe. Okay. Let me go cut all this wood and we are going to debark all of this. Alright, let's take a look at how this looks. Um, I don't think I like it. I'm going to be entirely honest with you. I don't think I like it at all. Yeah, I definitely don't like that, actually. I think the birch looks much better here, just the straight birch. Okay, so we'll have to take care of that now. But first, I need to dump my inventory. That should be fine. So I'm going to make another axe and take care of this little situation. Now, luckily we have plenty of birch trees around, the tr saplings that we've been planting up and growing. So I'm going to chop a couple more birch trees down, probably turn this stuff into firewood, and then I will check in with you guys, see how we're doing. So I was today years old when I learned that you cannot take debarked wood and turn it into firewood. Um, it also burns worse than regular wood, um, so it makes poor firewood. Um, maybe that's why mechanically they did it. To me, I would think that you could still turn that wood into firewood, but uh, what would I know? Um, genuinely, what would I know? Because I'm not... Uh, much of a survivalist myself, to put it to, to put it lightly. All right, let's just put you here. Excuse me, I'd like to add food. There we go. Oof, I had to think about it there. And let's go get the rest of this food and just throw this down into the basement after we give ourselves a portion, of course. The so one thing I think we can do. And I had to think long and hard about what we can do, because we're kind of in a lull right now. Um, is I think I'm going to do a bit of smithing. I'd like to make an iron shovel and an iron... Uh, I mean a copper shovel and a copper axe. So let's grab our last piece of charcoal here. Until our charcoal pit is finished. 
And let's get to some smith. Perfect. So there's all that. Now let's go turn this into tools, and you can see Daybreak is, uh, ooh, wow, it's dark out here. Let me grab the uh, torch. Daybreak is slowly coming on to us. Actually, I may have, I don't know what I have is my problem, but I may have some sticks, is what my thought was. Uh, let's go take a look here. Place you here for now. And... Wonderful, I'll get two sticks placed. And now we have a copper shovel and a copper axe. And when these are turned into tools, their temperature gets reset to zero. Um, and so we can hold them willy nilly no problem. Wow, look at that birch tree, huh? That one really grew up. All right, let me go put these tools away though. You go here. Oh, I had sticks in my inventory. How silly of me. Okay. Let's just go dump all this stuff in here. I actually good. want you in there. And this dry grass I don't need for right now. This axe I need. And the reason I wanted to actually... I do want this dry grass. The reason that I wanted to um, make these tools and this equipment is because for the next thing I think that we're going to do, which is going to be building, uh, we're going to need some materials, and I'd like to spend the bulk of the next day gathering said materials. Um, we are going to probably build in a similar style to the cozy cottage. Uh, we may even build a similar, similarly sized building for storage because this is pretty reasonably sized for a storage building but we may build something just a smidge smaller have a shed i haven't really decided yet but i do think i am going to probably use this combination of the dark and the light mud bricks um, as well as probably some birch to match but we may switch it up with a different wood type because a lot of the vintage story wood does look good right here but in order to do that i'm going to need to gather supplies so it's about high time that I start taking the scythe, going to town, taking the shovel and going to town, and I'm going to need not just clay, but I'm going to need dirt. Uh, actually, you know what? Hold your horses. I know something way more exciting that we can do. We need to take care of our bees. Excuse me. So let's grab some of our clay, and we're going to want to grab our reeds as well. Oh, reeds. I better not just have those 12. Alright, let's go take a look down here. There's a very high likelihood that I may. Okay, maybe we can't take care of our bees. We have a cattail farm for a reason, though. Hopefully, it has not failed us in our moment of need. And it has failed us in our moment of need. So we are in need of cattails. I guess we can't work on our bees, which are ready for harvesting, by the way. Um, anyways, I'm going to get to this. And when we uh, go grab fire clay, which is something that I'd like to do, we have to go buy our old base, which has our old cattail farm. And we can grab some cattails at that time. Uh, but for now, we're just going to focus on uh, using up our scythe grabbing quite a few snacks of blue clay, and I am going to need to grab some low fertility soil as well, as that is necessary for the... actually, no. I don't know if it's low fertility soil. I'm going to need to grab sand, probably a stack of sand. So, I'm going to work on gathering all this stuff, and I will see you on the other side.
Uh oh. Did not mean to do that. Well, good to know that we have a giant menacing cave right here. I will have to pay more attention next time. Okay, perfect. So we got quite a bit of resources from that. And I would like to chop down some trees as well. Um, but I'm going to need to consolidate my inventory a bit first. Look, giant pit that we almost ran into. So let's do that really quick. And I would need two more. Let me actually do that. One, two. Ooh, apocalyptic rift activity out of nowhere. Well, that's not good. I see one rift. I'm sure we're going to see many others. Um, so that consolidates our inventory a bit there. And then I don't believe I can consolidate the blue clay. I can. I can turn into bricks. Um, I didn't know you could do that. Hmm. Blue clay brick. What can I use it for? Oh, that's actually a pretty cool looking block, set of blocks, huh? But we don't need blue clay bricks. Ooh. Turnips are almost done. Unfortunately, I grew them out of season, so we're going to suffer reduced yield, but that's okay. Cabbages are doing great. We have quite a bit more cabbage seeds now. We found uh, last episode. So let's make our way here. And I am going to make more chests very soon. Probably tonight, now that I have more charcoal. And get you here. And get you here. And this firewood I'm actually going to stack up. And... The rest of this, I can put, actually, the charcoal I can stack up. I know exactly where I'll stack the charcoal. Um, I'll stack it just under these shelves for now. Okay. So we've got our charcoal right there. And now I should be able to find a place to put my cattails. No problem. Mild problem. Okay, there we go. We've cleared out our inventory. So now, let's go look at trees. And that is the worst oak tree I've ever seen. And I don't know what's going on here with this giant set of floating leaves, but that's something we're going to want to take care of at some point. But I do want to take this area and clear it out, as well as clear out this area around our house. Um, I think we'll probably only have time to, or enough durability to clear out the, these trees here, but. We may as well start on that, and that'll give us some more trees that we can use for firewood. Um, or building. We'll probably use these birch trees for building. So I am going to get started on this, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we've done quite a good job, I think, clearing out that area. And now, I want to use our medium fertility soil, which we'll probably need to grab a little more of, and just kind of outline what we'd like to build. So we'll run along our path here until we'll probably here is appropriate. Uh, we'll set this as a corner. And I'm not sure how big of a building I'd like to build. I know I'd like it to be longer on this side maybe like 13 by 7 something like that so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 1 2 3 4 5 this would put us at 7 
And remember, this is like a barn storage area, so I do think it's appropriate to have the building be a little bigger than uh, what we've been doing previously. And I got occupied with correcting some of the terrain around here, so let me just grab a couple more blocks to use as markers. And you go all the way here, like that, perfect, nope, that's the wrong dirt block. Like that, perfect, and then what I'm thinking we can do is I'm thinking that we can build a basement out of dark mud brick. Not dark mud brick, I'm sorry. We can build a basement into this building and have the basement of this building be our pit kiln area. And then we can have the main level and an attic, which is where we keep our uh, actual storage. And then we can have several doors leading into it. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I intentionally leave, left this uh, off uh, to the side and not straight on like the apiary because I figured this is a building that we can uh, duplicate uh, over here if we need more storage or for more barns or, or, or something like that. So uh, as long as it turns out well, we may be able to build a second one. And I think we can even start laying the corner pieces with some birch. One, two, three, we'll at least start it. Uh, oh, I actually want that to go up four. So let me fix that. Let's see here. Now, if I was smart, I would plan the build for something like this, but I actually haven't gone and planned it before. So we are just organically figuring this out as we go on. And one, two, three, four. And we'll do four over here as well. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And then we probably should just dig out the foundation for this. So we don't want to go down all along here and I'm probably going to need more shovels which is fine because I desperately am in need of making some chests so we're going to have to do some smithing here. This is quite the area we have and we want to dig this down to a level of one, two, three, and then the floor will want to dig down one more even. So it's going to take us quite a while to get all this dug out, but it's something I feel confident that we can do. Probably not with just this one shovel, though. I'm going to want to make uh, at least two more. Uh, but what's great is that we're going to need a lot of dirt in order to make all this mud brick. And let me tell you, have I found a way to get a lot of dirt. It's digging a foundation and basement into your builds. I also think one thing we could look at is perhaps even doing a little bit of chisel work. And I'm not really sure where we'll do some chisel work, probably around the windows, um, but that might not come until a little bit later. And I actually, that brings up a really good point of conversation. I want to talk about windows and why we haven't done anything to upgrade the windows around our house, even though we've had the capacity to for quite a while now. And the reason is, is that I'm looking for lead. And I'm going to continue with exploring. And as we explore, I'm going to continue looking for lead. Um, but that is something that we're going to probably do, not next episode, but once this build is complete, which will likely end up being next episode, or the very beginning of the episode after. Although next episode is far more likely, it's just something that's going to take some time. Okay, so there goes our shovel, which is great because our inventory was basically gone. And now what we can do is get to forging. And I'm going to forge probably some nails and bits first and foremost. Let's get down here. One, two, three, four. And I'll break. Don't need all of you. Just two charcoal there. Perfect. And let's get this lit. All right, so I am going to forge uh, a little bit here, and I will see you on the other side of that.
All right. And that is our forging all done. So we got two shovels, which is terrific. So now we will uh, hopefully have enough shovel durability to take care of what we'd like to take care of. And also, we have something that is much needed. And I'm going to use these oak logs, but we now have enough resources. Oh, I can't craft with this, can I? Because they're too hot. Shoot. So let's put you away, get you back in my off hand, and we finally can make some more chests, which we uh, desperately need, as storage is not our friend currently. So in the for the moment, we're just going to place these outside and dump our inventory. And I'm just going to focus on making this many chests. I don't think we need to make any more right now. I think we're all set on that. But I'm going to get back now, digging out this foundation while we still have some daytime. Okay, and there is our foundation all taken care of. And now we can grab uh, our bricks and build up our walls of dark mud brick. And... Let's grab some of this medium fertility, actually. Yeah, I'll we'll grab some of this medium fertility, as well as this low fertility. We'll use a combination. And then I scattered everything all about these chests because I was uh, low on space. So let's grab... Uh, downstairs, apparently. Let's grab our hay bales. Oh, hay bales, what did I do with you? There we go. Man. Is storage going to be so nice to have? Okay, so we have our hay bales here. We're gonna break them down, and then I'm just going to really go to town on this. And this should give us two stacks. We're gonna use the medium fertility. Should give us two stacks. Yep, perfect. Wow, and that ate up a lot of resources. That's why I went collecting, because I didn't want to make 20 trips. I figured we could make at least 19 trips instead. And I'm just going to dig this out here, and I'm going to create the staircase out of mud brick, uh, so that we can use it to get out if we need to. I think I got the dimensions on this wrong. Let me look, because this is eight. I've already figured that out. And you're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so it's eight by thirteen. That's fine. That just means that we'll have a, a two block gap here instead of a three block gap or a one block gap. So that's fine. And you can see that I'm gonna have multiple doorways on either side, because this is definitely gonna be a build that you know, the path here comes out to, the path here is obviously going to come out to, it's going to be a really important building for us. Okay, so we are a little short on mud brick. I don't need a lot. I mean, maybe 16. So let's grab you here and this low fertility soil. So let's look, one, two, three, that's 12. Let's grab just 20, just in case. And I think I actually may have had some extra mud bricks we could have used for this, but that's okay. Oh, why did I make that many? I only needed four. Well, that's what good good planning will get you. Let's see. It is 8 o'clock. Wow. It should be nightfall any time now. But I'm going to see if I can chance it. And grab my torch, which is down here. And grab my torch. And I'm going to see if I can go dig up a stack of sand from over here before it gets too dark out and the drifters come out in full force. 
because we're going to need a, a, a lot of light mud brick. In fact, this probably won't cut it. We're going to need so much light mud brick. And especially with these ferns, that's a little annoying, but I'm just glad that we have the sandstone stand, sand right here. So I'm going to go collect the sand. I'm probably going to shoot for two stacks of it. Um, so long as we're not interrupted by drifters. And I will see you guys once we have finished collecting the sand. Well, it turns out there wasn't that much sand anyway, so I just dug up the whole patch and it actually went fairly quickly. But it is nighttime now, as you can see. And I think this is a good opportunity for us to, well, first we're going to make some more light mud brick, but also a good opportunity for us to probably do some more smithing. I want to make a new hammer, make a few pickaxes, um, don't need another shovel, would benefit from a knife and axe, but we'll see about that, because I don't anticipate that I will be doing much, um, what's the word for it? tree chopping anytime soon. Let's grab some more clay here. Oh, I'm gonna need a, uh, I'm gonna need a scythe because I really do not have a lot. I think it actually goes here. What is the recipe? I'll move you out of the way. What is the recipe for? Let me move you out of the way too. Light mud brick. Oh, the sand is on top. Okay. Yeah, you can see I only got 20 from that. So I'm going to need a heck of a lot more um, grass. So it might even be worth making a scythe or two. Okay. Well, in that case, let's get down to the basement. And make sure I have all my gates closed. I do not. Or I do now. Okay. And let's get down here and do just a bit of smith. Uh-oh. I s messed this one up. That's what I get for being overambitious with, uh, what's the word for it? The hammering. We can fix it, but it's going to take another ingot, and honestly, I'd rather make the scythe right now. So let's go make the scythe. Perfect. So I do just want to talk about this work item here. Um, I may be incorrect, but I believe you can use a hammer and a chisel and you can actually break this back down into nuggets. Um, and so we can turn it back into an ingot and start over and it's a way for us to scrap this work item. Um, this is also just a testament to why it's important to pay attention when forging and why holding down left mouse button uh, can be dangerous, and that's exactly what I was doing, is I was holding down left mouse button. There we go, I need you. And let's turn these into tools, at least the ones that we can turn into tools. So you, and you, and you, and let's grab some food. So it's just something that, it makes things much faster, as you probably saw, um, but it makes things much more dangerous as well, um, and so that's something to keep in mind. So you want to be confident when you're smithing, and if you're not quite confident uh, because it's an item you haven't really uh, messed with before, then it's much easier to go slower. Uh, for me, I actually uh, don't often 
uh, do pickaxes at that angle, and so I think that's where I messed up. So we head outside here. It is still dark out, and oh, I need the torch. Whoops. And I want to take this time to just prospect or get an idea of kind of what we'd like to do to the interior of our cozy cottage here. As we know, we are going to need to bring the basement down in order to upgrade the floor. And I want to make the floor of, you probably guessed it, oak wood. And in order to get that oak wood, well, there's not really a whole lot of oak wood immediately around us. If we look over here, but one place I do know where there is a lot of oak wood is way over here. These are giant oak trees. And I want to chop a couple of them down uh, next episode to get the oak wood that we need to move our basement down. Uh, but also the oak wood that we need for the upper floor here. And hopefully our pit kilns will be down low enough where they won't start a whole fire. Uh, that would be kind of awkward if we finished building this barn and then the whole thing caught on fire. So next episode, uh, what we are going to do, and I'll just get into next episode mode, Next episode, what we are going to do is we are going to finish collecting resources. We're going to go gather some oak wood. We are going to probably need a few scythes, and we are going to grab a bunch of hay for our light mud brick and our roofing. And the objective of that episode is to complete our storage barn. This has been another episode of Vintage Story by me, Finkel11. Wow, we just zoomed in a lot. I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed making it. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe so that you can follow along with the series. Next episode is previously mentioned, but we're going to work on completing our storage barn, and that's going to involve collecting some more resources and doing some building. So, I will see you next time.